Meaty Lab Health Presence. The major contributor of the vitamin D reservoir in the body is the cutaneous production of vitamin D. That means the vitamin D synthesis in the skin. Now you know, the cutaneous vitamin D synthesis is affected by many factors as we discussed that topic in our last video. In this video, we are talking about how ozone, zenith angle, latitude and melanin affect your vitamin D synthesis. So, let's go to the video. Actually, out of the solar radiation, ultraviolet B radiation is actively involved in vitamin D synthesis. Effective UVB radiation that reaches the Earth's surface is influenced by a number of factors. The whole bulk of sun's UVB doesn't reach the Earth's surface. The ozone present in the stratosphere layer absorbs all wavelengths below 300 nanometers, including ultraviolet B radiation. UVB can be absorbed, scattered, or reflected by many additional substances as it travels through the Earth's atmosphere, including oxygen and nitrogen, aerosols, water vapor and particulate pollutants. Another key factor influencing UVB radiation is the solar zenith angle. In astronomy, zenith is the point in the sky directly above an observer. The zenith angle is the angle between the zenith and a line from the observer to the sun. Smaller zenith angle result in more intense UV radiation. Because when the angle increases, sun rays has to travel through a greater portion of the Earth's atmosphere to reach a given location. This makes a greater opportunity to absorb more UVB photons, by ozone layer and other particulate matter in the atmosphere. Time of day, time of year and latitude combine to establish the zenith angle for a specific point in time. In general, incident UVB radiation levels reach a maximum at midday in the summer. A study done by Webb and his co. showed that from November to February, there was insufficient solar UVB to synthesize vitamin D in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. But by March, pre-vitamin D was formed from 7-dehydrocholesterol in the skin. A similar study was conducted in Edmonton, Canada, photosynthesis of vitamin D ceased after the middle of October and did not recur until the middle of April. This happens due to the increase in the solar zenith angle in winter, as the sun angle becomes more oblique. As a result of this they say that, for latitude above 51 degrees, north and south of equator, UV index is less than 0.5 in winter months. Dark skin peoples have high melanin level in their skin than light skin peoples. Melanin has photoprotective action that protects the skin from the harmful effect of ultraviolet radiation. Melanin pigmentation in the skin competes for ultraviolet B photons and thereby decreases the efficiency for the photosynthesis of vitamin D. But the question arises that, how many doses of sun exposure or UVB exposure is required to maintain an optimum level of vitamin D? because excessive ultraviolet radiation exposure can cause skin cancer, and it does not elevate vitamin D level neither. However, it has been reported that, for light-skinned peoples an exposure time from 20 to 30 minutes, two three times in a week, is enough to produce around 20,000 international units of vitamin D3. While for dark-skinned peoples with high melanin level, this exposure time increased two to tenfold to get the same level of vitamin D. So, anyhow if you can't get enough sunlight, make sure you get vitamin D supplementary food and avoid vitamin D deficiency. If you like to watch more videos, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.